assistant district attorney from our uh, Travis County District Attorney's Office and then members of executive and command staff. Uh, we're here this evening because we have had an officer involved shooting and I'm, what I'm going to do is give you a, a little bit of background about how the officers found their way here and how uh, obviously then how the, uh, the shooting occurred. So at approximately uh, 2 55 p.m. this afternoon officers were dispatched to uh, the 7100 block of North IH 35 along the uh, the west frontage um, to a motel located there on a shooting. They located the shooting victim who was um, it appeared to be a life-threatening injury. They began uh, to, to aid that person and um, the person was transported to the hospital. That person has since uh, been uh, upgraded to stable condition and it is not in danger of dying. However, that shooting is not related to our officer involved shooting. That's simply the call that they found themselves here on. Two of the officers were actually walking in the area canvassing for, uh, for video to assist with that investigation. And as they were walking, and, and so this was now at approximately 4.45 p.m., um, the officers uh, were in the parking lot of the convenience store uh, near the intersection of St. John's and IH-35 when they heard multiple shots being fired from the intersection itself. And it appeared to be coming from the area either uh, on the bridge going over the interstate or very close to it. They began approaching that area, putting the information out over the, uh, over the uh, police radio for the other officers to know what was going on. And they did observe a subject who was firing a weapon, appeared to be firing a weapon into a tent that was located in that area. The officers began giving instructions to that individual to get on the ground and, uh, you know, obviously identifying themselves by um, they, they were in full police uniform and the subject then um, turned and began firing at the officers. The officers at that time uh, returned fire and the subject did go down. Within seconds, they were able to uh, make physical contact with the subject, uh, remove the handgun from his, uh, from his area, and they immediately began life-saving measures on him. At approximately uh, 4.52, so within a few minutes, uh, EMS and Austin Fire arrived on scene and also began life-saving measures. However, uh, the subject did succumb to his injuries and was pronounced deceased at 5.06 p.m. The officers were wearing uh, their body-worn cameras and they were activated. The incident was captured on body-worn camera. And as I mentioned earlier, a handgun was recovered at the scene. The two officers that are involved, uh, one was in a training capacity. He uh, is one of the new officers that just graduated uh, from the academy at the end of last month. And the other one was his training officer who has uh, just over four years on the department. As is our standard practice, both officers will be placed on administrative duty and there will be two concurrent investigations that will occur. One being a criminal investigation into the actions taken by the officers that's headed up by our special investigations unit and with and will be overseen by the district attorney's office as well as an administrative investigation that will be headed up by our internal affairs division that will be overseen by the office of police oversight as we have been doing the video related to this critical incident will be released within 10 working days The last thing I just want to uh, talk about is that uh, this is still very much an active crime scene and we have uh, several uh, kind of major road closures that have occurred because of this. And uh, the bridge over IH-35 in St. John's is closed and as well as uh, the southbound uh, frontage road on the west side of the highway between 183 and St. John's 
is also closed. And we'll just ask the public to stay away from those and we'll uh, push out a, uh, uh, a quick uh, notice to media and, and social media when those are reopened. At this time, that's about the balance of the in information that I have, um, but I can take a couple questions. You know, we have not added more staff to this area, but the area is known to our officers, and it is an area that uh, they they frequent uh, patrol on a regular basis to uh, to keep the area as safe as we can. Can you give any more details about the subject that was killed, male? Uh, the subject is male. Uh, he has not been positively identified. I don't have an approximate age or a race on him yet. All right, uh, thank you all very much.